And the snow and cold can be brutal for anyone trying to stay warm with faulty heat sources inside their homes. Space heaters, overloaded outlets and other issues can cause house fires, many of them deadly. Emma Henderson joins us live now from Parma. Good evening to you, Emma. Good evening, Laura. We saw just how deadly they can be, especially if they malfunction in the Bronx this weekend. Multiple deaths, but there are simple steps that you can take to help you stay safe. If you have a newer model of space heater, it likely has automatic switches that should turn them off if it's unstable, but don't rely on that. Nothing else should be plugged into the same outlet as the space heater because of the amount of energy it needs. The space heater should be plugged directly into the wall. Do not plug it into an extension cord for the same reason because of the amount of energy and it should be at least three feet away from anything flammable including drapes furniture and any type of paper or debris if things catch fire it's not just the fire you have to worry about it's the smoke when there's a severe house fire and somebody has a prolonged exposure those symptoms can be extremely dangerous and have long-term effects um, generally those patients can even be unresponsive on arrival so it's something we always need to check for Officials in charge of, redoing, of reviewing the large apartment fire in the Bronx this weekend say smoke inhalation was the cause of many of the deaths and also hospitalizations. Now, if you don't have a smoke detector, Parma Fire says, please reach out to your local fire department about trying to get one. They would much rather help you install a smoke detector than have to respond to your home for a fire. Laura. All right. All very important. Thank you so much, Emma. And 